Hi there, my name is Lee. I'm with Smarter Voice. Um, and today I'm going to show you how to add bullet points or numbers into your InDesign documents. Uh, there's a couple ways to do this. I'm going to show you both ways uh, that I know of. I'm sure there's others. Um, and once you get using these softwares, you tend to find the things that work best in your workflow. I'm going to show you the ones that work the best in my workflow. So what I'm going to do is this whole section here I want to turn into um, bulleted points. So I'm just going to select them all. And one of the ways to do this, the fast, really quick way to do this, is to come up here and there's this little um, button up here that's called bullets. And I just hit that and it turns it all into bulleted points. That's pretty simple. So what about numbers? Well, I can take all of that and then I can turn it into numbers because the number palette is right underneath that one. And now it's all numbers. But I'm going to show you the way that I do it so that I can apply it throughout my document so I don't always have to be going back up here and checking um, what type of leading I used or uh, you know how I lined this all up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to um, my paragraph styles. And if this palette isn't showing, you can find it up here in the windows, or the window uh, under styles, paragraph styles. And so we have it here. I've already created a bullet here, but I'll go and create another one. Um, so I go up to this little drop down menu here and I'm going to hit create paragraph style, a new paragraph style. And I'm going to call this bullets two because I already have one. But <laughs> So I've got that created and then I come in over on the left hand side here and it says bullets and numbering. I'm going to click that. My list type is going to be bullets. Click that. And this is the bullet character that I want to use. You can use any of these. You can also add other bullet characters you want to. Um, super handy and very cool. Um, I'm going to leave these things. Um, and then I'm just going to hit OK just to show you how it works. So this is all selected now and I need to apply my bullets. So I go ahead and I click that. Now you can see what happened is anything that was on a second line, it didn't apply um, the, the spacing. So I'm just going to go back up into bullets too and I'm going to come over into my bullets and numbering and down here it says bullet or number position. So in that palette that's how I'm going to control this. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to hit my left indent here is going to be 1.1. 1. 1. This is the spacing that I like. 1.1. 1. 1. Negative. 1.1. 1. 1. Clever duck. Hit enter and it lines it all up nice and smooth. Now what's cool about this is now I can go anytime I want into my bullets too and I can change or I can change the font family. I can change um, my leading so if I want them to be a little bit more spread out and that applies through my entire document at any point that I have turned anything into bullets too.